show you some solo drills that I do personally. I teach in my classes, and I think have a lot of validity in translating to a better jiu-jitsu player than just weightlifting or doing cardio in the gym. So uh, just here we go. Let me show you. This is just specifically for some guard passing drills that I'm going to show you right after this, all right? So we'll start in a squatted position. What I'm going to do from here is I'm going to reach my right hand over so my furthest hand from that direction goes. I start with my right, my left. I pick up my right foot. I try to go jump, jump, set it down, set it down, take both hands off one at a time, repeat. So go step, step, transfer my hips over my shoulders. One, two, back down, going the opposite way. So left hand, right hand, left leg, right leg, and go. You can practice going fast if you're, if you're passing a guard real fast, back and forth. Or if you want to work on just some maybe stability or gaining some strength along with balance, try and go as slow as you can. So up. A lot of different ways to do that. This is sort of an intermediate drill. You can take it back a step and sort of regress. You can put your head on the ground so it's like a headstand almost. So we go hand, hand, Head controlled down, foot, foot, and then reset. Going the opposite way, hand, hand, head, furthest leg from the direction I'm traveling, up, up, down, down, all right? And this is specifically just for passing a guard and gaining control while you're inverted. So check out the next part here. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Okay, okay, so based off the previous solo movements that I was doing earlier, this is how you can use it for a guard pass. So your opponent grabs, pulls you up, you're going to post, go with it. When he's taking you, try not to fight and push back this direction, go with it. I'm going to drop my right hip, lift my left leg, step off, and then there's a lot of ways you can go into a side control from here. So let's just go right to a leg drag type pass. So as soon as I come off, I'm going to stick my closest leg in, my left leg, drag his hips across, then solidify by coming to a traditional side control. So just sticking with that method, going to the leg drag, I'm on my knees, he pulls, I go with it, up. My hips are twisted, stick this right under while his legs are lifted, drag him across, set your weight down, and then come to your normal side control position. So you can see as long as I go with it, how effective it can be. So another method would be, when he lifts me, I'm gonna bring this arm across. Everything's the same. I lift my far leg up, I turn my right hip down, and as I fall off, I turn into this side control position where it's almost like a reverse scarf pull to have my arm over his head. So again, I go with it, over, turn my hips down, throw my left leg up, over. You can hook, you can pin, whatever you're comfortable with from the side control. Another option going right to knee on belly. So I go with it, same concept, up, this comes off, and then I insert it right to that knee on belly position instead of going to the leg drag. Right to it. And then last one we'll do is, I'm gonna use an underhook as he does that. And what I'll do is after I fall off his hooks, I'll have a deep underhook, and it'll be kind of like a, just a modified side control where he lifts, under, lifting, I lift, hip goes down, sit through, and then you have this deep underhook side control position. Okay, guys, so you can see how just some movement drills, some solo drilling can really take you far in uh, just passing and where the practical approach would be when you are rolling or training jiu-jitsu. So one of the biggest questions I have when people first start is like, what can I do outside of class? Well, I have a whole host of different solo movement drills that you guys can check out. So uh, just subscribe and give me some feedback. Thanks, guys.